Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. So today we have some awesome updates. Uh, I'm currently waiting for FedEx to show up with an awesome new setup that I have for the muscle truck. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. So today we're going to be installing um, the fronts. I have, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I bought a drag pack set up for this truck. So we're going to have a set of 15 by 10s on the back and 17 by 7s on the front. I know some of you guys may have mixed feelings about me getting rid of this setup, but it is not going anywhere. In fact, what we're actually gonna do with this setup is we're gonna put it on this truck. So, Dad's truck has kind of a uh, you know classic muscle look to it with these you know torque thrusts, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up a little bit, we're gonna modernize it, and we're gonna throw a set of these 20s uh, on the back and the 18s on the front from the muscle truck to the green truck here. So that's kind of an overview of what we're gonna do today, but the first thing we gotta do is take care of business here. And uh, as you guys can see, a classic problem with these little NV3500s is the uh, output shaft seal, input shaft seal actually on the back of your transmission. So this guy went to leaking and currently trying to get it out. It's worth some. And you can see where somebody has attempted to pry on the actual casting instead of the seal. So that's obviously warped some stuff back here, but he's in the process of removing this seal and have come up with a pretty clever way to get it out. Cut away. Cut away part of it. And then looks like you're allowing yourself some access to get in behind it here. And pops right out. So there you go. So to bring you guys up to speed, this is a 275 40 20. And the front is a 255 40 18. You know, I did go with a staggered look on this truck because at the time that's what I was looking for. I've had this set up for like six years and I think it's time to switch it up. So it's gonna have this muscle truck look now. You know, it's always been the muscle truck, but now it's actually gonna have a lot more muscle to it. So what we're gonna do though, we're gonna roll these rear fenders and then we're also gonna look at these front fenders. We may have to roll them. Um, it may not be that bad, but what I am going to do is today we'll probably go to discount tire if they show up and we're going to mount the fronts today and I've got to come up with some lug nuts. So there's still a few things that needs to happen today, but what we will get to see today is the green truck with the 20s on it and hopefully we'll at least get to mock up the race stars on this truck. So anyways, let's get cracking. All right, guys. So here's a little bit of before. See, we got pretty nice stance on the old truck right now. It's about to go under the knife and roll the fenders today. All right, guys, gray truck is looking sad up here. It's stripped down in the middle of switching wheels. Uh, like I said, though, we're going to cut these fenders up, so it's you can see we've already rolled them a long time ago to keep from rolling, but it was kind of a you know hack job, so we're just going to cut them, and that'll take care of this thing. It's kind of sad to see it sitting here with nothing on it, uh, but here we go. <laughs> that setup on this truck is a whole new look. Oh my gosh. Now guys, keep in mind, this truck will settle a ton after it goes down the road. So that little bit of wheel gap you're seeing in the front is going to go away. Uh, you know, these, these trucks, they settle quite a lot after you drive them. Well, look at the difference though, guys. This is crazy. So you got, you know, kind of the 2005-2006 look versus the modern sort of look. Now, I'm not, that's not really even all that modern, but, you know, it's, it's definitely a huge change. And the rears are really going to make a big difference in this truck. So I'm super excited to see what these are going to look like. But just wait, boys. When this thing gets its drag radials, it's when it's going to get real for the muscle truck. I mean, they're not a bad looking wheel. You know, good old torque thrust. They look good, but. Oh, 
Here we go, boys. This truck's about to start a whole new life now. <laughs> I think it's gonna clear yeah you're good you got, you guys can see these specs are like perfect for these trucks so if you guys have a flip kit and it's a six inch drop rear or maybe even a seven you can get away with it it literally fits perfect when you run a 275 40 on a 20 on these trucks no fender rolling i think we're gonna be safe on this one we'll just have to see but you know this truck is a daily so that's one thing we're keeping in mind these are not really friendly wheels to daily drive guys polished aluminum is awful if you get it wet and then water stands on it you get it in the salt you know it's, it's really hard on these wheels so these are uh powder coated very easy to keep clean pretty much no maintenance um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and throw the other side on and then we'll give you guys a full walk around and all right guys here's the new look for the green truck as you guys can see it's it's really close to what we had on the muscle truck the specs are really close the front still has to set a little bit so keep that in mind um, but yeah we could go a little taller in the front but they're conservative and they work so if you ever wanted to go lower in the front you know he's got plenty of room to do the coil over conversion and drop the truck a couple more inches and really give it some rake that's why I actually bought this setup for my truck and then I changed directions and went with the drag pack. But as you guys can see, it turned out pretty good. The look is really nice. It's excellent. All right guys, so there you have it. That's the brand new look for Dad's the Green Truck. So uh, I hope you guys agree with me. I personally think it looks a whole lot better with this setup on it now. Um, you know, it's, it gives it a more modern look. And it, it definitely helped the truck out. You know, I definitely think that this was the right move. And we are going to work on this gap in the front. You know, it hasn't settled down yet. So, you know, we're, we're obviously we're working on that. Um, actually, we're thinking about putting 20s on the front to match the back. So we get the 20s on the front. I've got some other 255, 35 tires that we're going to put on the front to help that gap out. He's a little higher in the front than me. So it did have more gap because of that. And as you can see now, we're loading everything back up so now we turn our attention to the title of this video which is you know the muscle truck getting uh race stars and uh you know we're still unfortunately we're still waiting on fedex and they have not showed up and it's getting close to five o'clock i'm a little bit concerned but it's okay because the tires will not be here till wednesday so i'm not sure when i'm, I'm gonna upload this video for you guys but uh just know that by the time you're watching it i probably have the race stars already on the truck and i will release a video for you guys so, but another reason why this truck is sitting lower than dad's is because one it is a V8, so it has more weight. Two, it has a Beltec drop spring. So that's like a three inch drop spring, two inch drop spindle. So this is a five, six drop, which makes those 18s work a lot better than, you know, on this setup, the 18s work a lot better than his. But for what he's got, it makes more sense for him to do a 20, but anyway we're gonna go ahead and start rolling these fenders and see what we've got to work with so in the back here's what i'm thinking we're gonna come in here and we're gonna slot this cut this out the cutoff wheel and just fold this lip over and that's going to give me enough room to fit these nice race stars under here because these new wheels i'm getting guys they are serious they are 10 inches wide and they're running a 295 tire so it's going to be a huge difference for those of you guys that haven't seen underneath the muscle truck this is it might be your first time looking at it but this thing has 353,000 miles on it but everything under it has been redone including the exhaust there you can see we did the dumped exhaust got two nice little magna flows underneath they sound really nice they're subtle nothing crazy but 
let's go uh let's get on with rolling these fenders and hopefully we can fit these new tires it's actually uh pretty far along here but this is going to give us that extra clearance so i'm going to show you guys kind of what we did over here before we started cutting anything you can see you can see where it's kind of been rubbing before which tells me this truck's lower than the green truck but it was rubbing right here pretty bad i just rolled a bunch of rubber out i was getting on it a little bit today and i think that uh it's when the rear end comes down and this thing flexes down that's when you get into trouble so this is going to help us but basically what we're doing here is we're using this three quarter inch piece of tape from the outside and we're going to cut along this line and that's going to give me half an inch or more room which don't sound like a lot but when you're rubbing and you just need just a little more clearance half an inch makes a huge difference when you go to big tires so we're going to go ahead and finish cutting this thing up and try not to cry too much while i'm doing it because it's kind of sad and uh <laughs> yeah here we go All right, guys, fenders are rolled. He did a good job cutting these, blended them real nice. Well, overall, it's gonna do the job. It's gonna get her done. So now we just gotta play the waiting game. Have an update later this week for the rears. Um, and we're also gonna hopefully mount the fronts. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen tonight, guys. Probably not gonna get the fronts on tonight, but we can go ahead and get our lug nuts tomorrow and everything, cause they're supposed to be here. So as soon as I get those wheels, I'm going to start, you know, mocking everything up with the lug nuts, making sure everything's going to be okay. And um, then hopefully Wednesday or Thursday next week, I will have something ready to go for this truck. And we can start tearing into this thing and working on the rear end next and the cow tracks and all that other good stuff. We're going to finish the rest of this thing. It's just a process. So that's where we're at, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. And I hope that you all are a fan of the new look for the truck. I think it's gonna be awesome. I think it definitely is gonna bring uh, you know, a lot more attention to this truck for sure. Definitely gave it a lot better, more modern look. Um, so that's where we're gonna leave it off for this week, guys. If you like what you see, be sure and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm out.